Hello everyone, my name is Andrew Mitchell Namgar. On behalf of everyone at Mitchell's and our entire family, we welcome you to the store for our, this will be our third year partnering with Lambda Legal here at Mitchell's and we're really honored to be back. It's great to see so many familiar faces um, who've been supporting Lambda Legal over the years and great to see new people as we continue to expand our efforts. I want to give a quick thank you to all of the committee members who helped out throughout the year the silent auctions and getting everyone here. You see some of them with their blue tags. Those are the people who made this event happen. So thank you to everyone. I'd like to thank Diageo, who has donated the Prosecco and the wine and the vodka year after year after year for this event. We couldn't do it without them, and they helped keep our expenses as low as possible so that every dollar raised goes directly to Lambda. So thank you to the energy. And I want to also thank To Boot New York. Uh, the designer Adam Derrick and his partner Robin are here right in the front. They partnered with us. They've been great friends of ours for years. Um, they've been great loyal supporters of Lambda and 20% of all of the, Lam of the To Boot shoe sales which is right over in that corner, will go to Lambda Legal. We also have a raffle in the front, so if you're trying a couple pairs of shoes, put your name on the raffle, we're gonna pull one out for a lucky winner to wear a free, uh, free pair of shoes, but 20% of their sales today go right to Lambda Legal, and we thank you both very much. Thank you, Andrew. I am uh, the tri-chair of this event, uh, John Stabstrom. Andrew and I had the pleasure of adding a third chair, Brian Morris, this year. Very helpful. I see lots of Brian's friends here, and that's what this is all about, <laughs> is getting people here. I have the uh, honor of introducing our distinguished guests, uh, but before I do that, I wanted to say one, play on one thing that Andrew said, and that is, Diageo donates uh, the liquor and the wine, and a lot of other people donate other things. Mitchell is very generous um, about the promotion for this, about the store. I want to give a big shout out to Andrew Mitchell and the Mitchell family. And Kevin Cathcart, who is the uh, executive director of Lambda, is here, who will tell you this is actually the most cost effective event that Lambda raises. Um, every year, only 10 or 11 percent of what you're giving today goes to expenses. So please give generously because you really are giving to the cause, not just the party. Although the party's good. <laughs> my, uh, my honor today is to introduce some of our dignitaries. And we have a number of them here. I'm so thrilled that we live in Connecticut where we have public officials who understand the importance of uh, LGBT issues. Um, and we have a lot of them here today and I'm happy they're here. I want to give a shout out to our wonderful Secretary of the State, Denise Merrill. Someone who has always stood for our rights as a state senator and now is our Attorney General, George Jepson. Where is the first openly elected gay constitutional officer of the state? Is Kevin Lembo still here with us? Kevin Lembo? In no particular order of priority, but she would not be happy if I didn't introduce her because she is fabulous. My own state representative, Auden Grogan's, is here. The blonde dancer, where is she? We have with us today Mayor Bill Finch of Bridgeport. Where's Bill? Bill, 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 when, Bill when he was in the state senate, almost didn't vote for civil unions because he said, you people need marriage, I'm not voting for a half measure. <laughs> he, Bill has brought a special guest with him, probably someone who has come the furthest for event, this event. We have with us today a special guest, Kevin Johnson, the mayor of Sacramento, <laughs> California. I know that Elizabeth Esty was with us earlier. Is Elizabeth still here? She's right here. We have also uh, the chairwoman of the Democratic Party in Connecticut and a sponsor of this event, Nancy DiNardo. Woo! 
We have with us today our very own congressman who is chatting back there, yeah. Congressman Jim Hines. Yeah. As all of you know, I think that Jim has a 100% voting record on all of our issues. And also, another congressman who has a 100% voting record on everything that's important to us. I believe that Congressman Chris Murphy is here with us. And the woman who needs no introduction, the woman who has still, at 50 years old, the best life in the state of Connecticut, the woman who seriously has stood with this community from day one and always, our Lieutenant Governor Nancy Wyman. She's, she's the only one who can keep the governor straight. who has always, always, uh, we've had many personal conversations, she's a personal friend of Dennis and mine, but someone who's always stood importantly for our issues and obviously has the ear of the governor. She's always been good on those issues. The governor's wife, the the governor's wife Kathy Deloy. <laughs> I want to introduce somebody to say, he's got, he's got one minute to say some things to us, but we have a very, very honor to have our U.S. Senator Richard Blumenthal here today. Thank you. Well, I've, I've been waiting for the moment to see both the governor and the lieutenant governor blush at the same time. <laughs> By the way, that minute thing, I've been watching the presidential debates. I know time limits don't mean anything. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to be very clear. Uh, I want to say a few big thank yous. First of all, to the Mitchell family for opening this great store. Thank you so much. And, and, and to Amanda Legal, you know, you are at the forefront. I know what tough cases are like. I did them for 20 years. You are showing us how to crusade through the courts, and I want to thank you for the model of public advocacy and service that you're setting. And I just want to say one more thing. Uh, just one more thing. <laughs> we got to repeal DOMA. If it doesn't happen in the Supreme Court, we're going to do it in the Senate of the United States. Yes. And we got to elect people who are for repealing DOMA. Let's get the job done. Thank you so much for having me.